Hi everyone, welcome back, or welcome if you are new. Today I'm gonna to show you my entire Harry Potter collection that is on my bookshelf. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> All right, yes, I'm gonna be showing you my entire Harry Potter collection that is on my bookshelf. So I do have four of them behind me. I have a smaller one underneath my Mirror of Erised, and then I even have a small floating shelf with some of my collection on it as well. So I'm gonna show you all of those. So we're gonna start with the collection that is behind me, and I'm gonna go shelf by shelf, showing you everything that's on it, where things are from. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start off with the top of my bookshelves. So we have this Hedwig here that is from the Noble Collection. Then the other owls here. So this one is from Hobby Lobby and some from Amazon and some from Universal. And then this one over here is a plush Hedwig and that is from a Noble Collection as well. And then this big Hogwarts <laughs> is from Department 56. It's sold as two separate pieces, but they do light up. I love having them up here, but I don't have a way to light it up yet. I'll have to get an extension cord, but I do really love that. And then I also have this super cute snowman, and this is from an Etsy shop. And I will try to link as much of this stuff as I can down in my description box below. But if I did miss anything, just let me know in the comments and I will add it. All right, we're gonna start at the top and then we'll work our way down. So on this very first shelf, we have my Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, and I just love this entire collection. So I have a lot of different fun, colorful pieces, some from Noble Collection, some from the Wizarding World, but let's just dive into it. So right here, we have the Hallmark Weasley Shop. It's actually a Christmas ornament, and I think this one was the 2019 one, but don't quote me. Then we've got our Puking Pastel Girl. This is a bookend from Noble Collection. Then I have this little daydream potion that is Weasley inspired and it's from the Wizarding Trunk. And then I also have this cute little pink elephant, which has also been rumored to be the Niffler before Fantastic Beasts came out. But I don't know. What do you guys know it as? The pink elephant or a Niffler? And this is from the Weasley Shop at Universal Studios. So cute. And then I have another potion from the Wizarding Trunk. And this one is Fred Weasley's Aging Potion. So pretty. And then front and center, we have this little wand display from the Noble Collection. And it has Fred and George Weasley's wand on it. And I love the little W on top, if you can see that, <laughs> to represent for the Weasleys. And then it also says W and W on the bottom as well. And then in front of that, I have this little staff pin that I got from Litjoy Crate and you can actually wear it but I think it looks so cute in front of the stands. And then just behind the wand stand I do have the illustration of the Weasley shop and that is from an Etsy shop. And then in this corner we have some items that you can buy at the Weasley shop. So we've got some love potions. So here is one that I DIY'd. This is a candle version from Litjoy Crate. I don't love the label so that's why I flip it this way but I love the little tassel on top and it does smell really good. Then I have a pygmy puff inside a cage from Litjoy Crate. I have the decoy detonator box and then I have the actual decoy detonator on top of my you know poo candy. That is everything on the Weasley shelf. It's so cute. It's one of my favorites. All right, now moving next to it, still on the top of my shelves, we've got my Quidditch themed shelf. So some of the newer additions are gonna be the Funko Pops. So this one is Ron Weasley, and he kinda looks like he's flying because he's on this like clear acrylic stand. And then we've got Ginny back there also looking like she's flying. And then I've got Harry here holding a golden snitch. And then we have the box of Quidditch supplies here that's from Amazon. I've got a golden snitch Hallmark ornament. And then I have the Quidditch goggles on top of the box. And then I've got a Gryffindor Charmed Aroma Candle. Since all three of these guys are from Gryffindor, I thought it went really well. I'm just gonna move Harry to the side so you can see behind him. So we've got this big golden snitch light that is from Truffle Shuffle and you can mount that on the wall. And then I have these ledgers that are from, that's a little stand <laughs> stuck to it, that are from the Wizarding Trunk, the Potter Collector Box and these are metal, they're really nice, and that's the box that they came in. 
but I thought it was really cute, so I added both of them. And in this corner, we have a World Cup ticket, I believe is from the Wizarding Trunk. I've got Weasley is our King Foam Finger, and this is from a Lit Joy Crate. I've got a Golden Snitch Light, so when this is plugged in, you can tap it to turn it on, and then tap it to turn it off. And then I've got some books underneath here. So we just have a Hogwarts journal on top, and then we've got Quidditch Through the Ages, and then we have Year One of the Harry Potter illustration books. And if I didn't say, the light is from Amazon. Then next to the Quidditch shelf, we have our skinny bookshelf. <laughs> and this one just has one thing on here. It is a box that came with my Slovak edition book set. I love the illustration on the box, so I kept it here. So I do have that on top. And then next to the two shelves, I do have my Hermione inspired bag from Lit Joy Crate. I just love this bag. It also has these little tassels. It's so cute. And next to this one is my last top of the shelves. <laughs> and this one's kind of a mixture of things. And this one I'm sure will change somewhat soon, but this one's kind of just like a Hogwartsy theme <laughs> to it, I guess. So we have my Rose Shire roses front and center and they are so beautiful so I just kind of have them propped open like this but they can open all the way and you can see the Gryffindor lion and this is actually a pin and these roses do last about two years but I like having it kind of displayed like that it looks cute then in this corner we have a department 56 Ron and Hermione figure and then I have a snow globe with Hogwarts inside it this was from Books A Million. And then I have two little deer. <laughs> They're white, kind of reminded me of Patronuses, so I put them there, but, but I found them in Home Goods during Christmas time. Then in this corner, I'll shut this door a little bit so you can see a little better. So we have another Department 56 figure. This one is Hagrid and Buckbeak on top of a Hogwarts Charmed Aroma candle. And then I have a Lego version of the Hogwarts Express. And then behind that I have Ron, Hermione, and Harry, and those are Christmas ornament plushies from Pottery Barn Team. And that's everything on my little Hogwarts themed shelf. All right, now moving down to the second row, we've got a Weasley slash Chamber of Secrets themed shelf. So over to the right is mostly Weasley, and then over here is kind of Chamber of Secrets, but they do work well together, so I did put them all together. Starting off in this corner, we have a Weasley inspired clock, and I got this one from Etsy. And then I have my burrow, and this one is from Department 56, and it does light up if you plug it in, but I can't plug it in over here. <laughs> I've got a little rubber duck that is definitely not like Harry Potter licensed or anything like that. It's just a rubber duck, but since Arthur Weasley says, what is the function of a rubber duck? I have this on here to kind of represent him, because he doesn't have a lot of merch for him, so we do have that. Underneath the burrow, I have my Mina Lima illustrated book, and then I have a Ron Weasley owl results. So here are his owl results, and it even has a little wax seal stamp. So you can see his scores on here, which is funny. So he got D dreadful in divination. <laughs> but if you want to take a pause and read that, I love the gold foiling, and this was from Lit Joy Crate. And then just underneath that, we have our year two illustration book. And then I also have a year four here, which this won't stay for long, but it's just kind of fit here. So that's why that's there. <laughs> and then for the other paper replicas that we have back here, I have Floor and Bill Weasley's wedding invitation. So this one was from Lit Joy Crate as well. And then I have another one of those illustrations by that same Etsy artist. And this is the burrow. And I love how it kind of shows you inside the burrow. All right, now for this corner, um, in the middle though, <laughs> we do have another snow globe and this one is of the flying Weasley car in front of London area. I think that's King's Cross Station, maybe. <laughs> it's so cute and it does play some music as well. But so gorgeous, I love these. These are from Pottery Barn Teen and it does have the platform at the base as well with the trolley going through the wall. You've got my Whomping Willow with another Weasley car on this shelf and this is an Etsy creation. It's felt and it has a little wooden base. I love this little replica and I even have a little Dobby kind of hidden back there. <laughs> I got this from Amazon. I think he's so cute. We've got a Lego version of the 
Ford Angula and it has Ron and Harry inside and then I keep this little Christmas tree on top of it because I think it's cute. And then I have this Noble Collection Mandrake. So cute. These are the ones that come in those like glass or not glass, those like plastic boxes. <laughs> I don't know. And this is the bottom and he can come out too, which is cool. All right, now the next few items. So we have the Weasley clock. This is from Let Joy Crate. So is this little mandrake. I never got the pot that it goes into. They came broken for a lot of people and mine has not shipped yet to replace it. And then I have this beautiful replica of the mandrake from Pottery Barn Teen. And it does light up, but you have to turn it on from the bottom and I don't want to move everything. <laughs> And then I also have a Cornish Pixie that is like crocheted. Kind of hidden back there as well. And I think that was from the Wizarding Trunk. All right, next to that shelf, we've got our year one shelf. So I do have my Mina Lima Sorcerer's Stone illustrated book right in the middle. And then on top of that, I have a cute little Hogwarts Express that I got from Universal Studios. And then in front of it, I have this little DIY that I did a while ago of the like point counter. So cute. So here's the Gryffindor one and it's just filled with a bunch of beads. It has a cork bottom that I painted gold. I love these. And then right here we have the Remember All and this is from Lit Joy Crate. So gorgeous. It came with a red light that you can put underneath it but I don't really love how it looks, so I just display it on its own. And back here I have, I think these are from Wish, <laughs> but they're supposed to represent for Harry's glasses, so that's why I have those back there. And then this sorting hat is from Target. It was like the first one that they released, and I don't think the mouth moves anymore, but you can hear it talk. And they did come out with it again this year, so you should still be able to find it. And then just behind the sorting hat, we've got a platform a nine and three quarters ticket. We've got London to Hogwarts. And then just surrounding the book, I do have some candlesticks that don't have any candles in them, but I do like the look of it. So that's why those are there. <laughs> and then in this corner, we've got the Sorcerer's Stone replica from the Noble Collection that I got recently at Universal. And then also I got these replica notebooks from Universal as well. And then this is from Noble Collection that I found on Mercari, and it's just a feather quill pen. You can see that, but it was a little broken, but I got it at a very discounted price. And I really love the base that it's in. It's so pretty. And then just below the Sorcerer's Stone, I do have a bunch of paper replicas. So I've got a library card that's super gold foiled. That was from the Wizarding Trunk. We've got a Hogwarts weekly schedule. We've got a hall pass. And then last but not least, we've got Dumbledore's Army, the signature one <laughs> with everyone signing their names on it. And it has this little DA wax seal stamp. And this was from Let Joy Crate. And then the last thing is just this little poster that is of all of the wands or like the main character's wands. And that was from Geek Gear. Now the next shelf, here's the skinny shelf. This was my Dumbledore shelf. So we have the UNESCO Dumbledore figure with Fox the Phoenix. So beautiful. And then I also have the Deluminator and it does light up. And this is from Noble Collection. It's so pretty. I love this little replica. And then just behind that, this is something I thought looked like it would belong in Dumbledore's office, but I did find it at just like a little antique shop and it's so gorgeous. And then the last thing is gonna be his cup, which is right back here, and that is from Noble Collection as well. And then the only other thing that's on the shelf is this plant that has a flying key on it. So it doesn't really have anything to do with Dumbledore, I just think it looks pretty. All right, next, here is the dark arts themed shelf. And I actually really love this. This is one of my favorite shelves and I never thought I would have a dark arts themed one, but then I just slowly started getting things and I had enough to fill a shelf. So here we are. <laughs> so we'll start over in this corner. All right, first we have the Nightly Nocturne little newspaper and it's from the Wizarding Trunk. And then I also have this little piggy bank of the Chamber of Secrets door 
from the Wizarding Trunk as well, and this was from the Potter Collector box. I love this one. I think I got quite a few things from the Wizarding Trunk here because this necklace is a Bellatrix inspired one from the Wizarding Trunk along with Bone of the Father. And then I even have the Blood of the Enemy, but I don't love the label, so I have it facing this way. And I don't love the text on here either, so that's why I have it facing this way. And then just underneath, her necklace we have two daggers so I have one from the wizarding trunk and this one's actually metal and here is the end of it very detailed nicely done and then this one is more plastic resin material and it's from geek gear but the handle is green more like the replica from Noble Collection, um, but I don't know if I'll add that one to my collection just because I have these two, but maybe one day. I do have this Slytherin locket that is from Lit Joy Crate and it does open up. I love that. And then a bunch of paper replicas. They're like book pages from the Wizarding Trunk. And then I even have one of the Daily Prophet that's from Lit Joy Crate. And this is a book cover, Defense Against the Dark Forces. So that one was also from the Wizarding Trunk. All right, next in the middle, we have a Death Eater mask. And inside it has Tom Erdl's diary and the Basilisk Fang, and that is from Barnes and Noble. And then in front of that, I do have a little like Deathly Hollows box that's from Lit Joy Crate, and it had a pin inside it, but I kept it because it's a wooden box that's like magnetic. So nice. And then down here is where I put my creepy little mini skulls. So if you saw my Universal haul that I just had, I had these little skulls. These were only $5 a piece at Universal in Borgen and Berks, and I love them. They're so cool. <laughs> Just above the mask, I do have a kitty plate for Dolores Umbridge, and it is kind of cute, even though it's Dolores Umbridge. Her kitty plates are adorable. Now we have this corner. So I have this Ministry of Magic memo paper airplane replica. It's so cute. This was from an Etsy shop. I really love this. Then I just have this little like witch's brew potion bottle that I got from the dollar area at Target. I have the Hand of Glory from the Wizarding Trunk with some creepy spiders from Halloween time. I just kind of put on there. And then the main piece is this beautiful Noble Collection Slughorn Hourglass. I love this so much. So this is one of my favorite replicas. I got it for Christmas from my husband and it's amazing. So that is here as well. And that's the entire dark arts shelf. Now we're down to the third shelf and this one is our Magical Creatures slash Fantastic Beast shelf. And it's so cute. So this is the Inesco figure of Hagrid, and he's holding baby Norbert. So cute. And this was actually the only thing that I kind of broke, or broke just a little bit, during my entire room renovation. Right here, his little finger came off. I do have it, though. So I will super glue it eventually. Here it is. <laughs> so not the worst thing, but... That did happen. Next, I have a little lantern. So this is Hagrid's lantern, and this is from a Geek Gear box from probably forever ago. <laughs> then I have this beautiful teapot from Lit Joy Crate, and it has an Akami on there trying to catch a bug. It's so beautiful, and it is on both sides, so you can display it either way. So I had to have this on the shelf. Then right in center, we have the Fantastic Beast, the original screenplay book. And on top of that, I have my little Noble Collection bendables. So we have the Bow Truckle Picket here, sticking his little tongue out. He's so cute. And then we have a Cornish Pixie as well, kind of hugging onto the book. I think it's so cute. Then in this corner, we have a Niffler, and he's got a bunch of jewelry that he has stolen. So he's got some green cup coins, he's got a time turner, he's got a bunch of stuff he's stolen and burrowing up over here. And then we have a little trunk. This had pins in it from Lit Joy Crate. It was an add-on for some magical creature pins, but I love it, so it reminds me of Newt Scamander's suitcase. And then inside that, I do keep some like backings of pins and miscellaneous things in there and then on top of that I have my monster book of monsters that I got from Universal and this one does move and make sounds then above that we do have our blast ended scroot and this is also from Universal and it does light up let me see if I can get it there it is <laughs> so that happens and then you can pull it back and like shoot it around so it's a crazy little toy but I like 
having this because I don't have anything like it for my collection. And then just behind all of that, we have some dragon hide gloves as well. And that was from the wizarding trunk. And that's everything currently on my magical creature slash fantastic beast shelf. Next to that, we have our Honeydukes inspired shelf. So we actually have the Honeydukes shop right in center. I'm gonna try to grab this without knocking over the frog. So this is a Hallmark ornament, just like the Wizards Weasley shop one. And then I have this little DIY chocolate frog hanging on here. <laughs> and this is the back of it. So you can put some lights inside it if you want to. It's glittered, it's beautiful. So I do have the Honeyduke shop in center. And then balancing just above that, we do have the Spectro Specs from the Quibbler. It's not really Honeyduke's theme, but the colors go, so it does stay here. Then in this right corner, I do have a ceramic dish for the chocolate frog. You can put like jewelry or little pieces in here, but what I have is a bunch of book pages and some wax <laughs> that you can do wax seals with. So that's what's in there. And then for the candy, so we do have a Honeydukes jar that I put my own lemon candies inside of. I've got some more of these chocolate frogs jumping all over the shelves. So I think they look cute, it's a nice little touch. And then I have the tin version of the Ever Flavor Beans. Then I've got these little Honeydukes tins that I got for a dollar on clearance. So that's why that candy looks questionable. I'll never eat it. <laughs> Sometimes when they clearance out candy, you can get some of these things at a good price if you're just going to display them. And then I've got the exploding bonbons. Then I've got the dark mark lollipop. I've got an acid lollipop. I've got a plant-based Wizarding World candy. Behind here we have the glacial snowflakes. They're peppermint flavored snowflake melts. I've never tried them, but I have a box. Now in this corner, we have another Honeydukes jar and it has some peppermint candies. We've got some more jumping frogs. We've got the peppermint toads. These are dark chocolate and these are my favorite candy from there. I've got a box of the Choco Chalk. We've got some fizzing Whizbies, and then we have the metal version of the chocolate frog and it does come with five of the trading cards which I just have displayed underneath so here are two of them and they are lenticular and here's the back so really nice and then I have Dumbledore's lenticular chocolate frog card stuck to the back here and then there's some caramel cobwebs behind but that's everything on my Honeyduke shelf then next to that We've got my Nerdy Ink book covers. So they're just dust jackets that go over the American Edition books. And I love this one. I think this one's one of my favorite dust jackets for sure. So it's on top and then I just tied it together. So that way it's not too wobbly with this twine because bookends wouldn't fit in there and they were just a little bit, like leaving just a little bit of a gap. So this just helps keep them together and it does look cute. Next to those books we have my potion shelf. All right, so we do have a lot of stuff on this potion shelf, so I'll try to give you some close-ups. I'll grab a few of them and show you. But first off, we do have the Advanced Potion Making Book, and this is a like faux book where you can actually store stuff inside it, and that's from Lit Joy Crate. Also from Lit Joy Crate, we have the Slug Club Christmas Party Invitation on the back wall. In this back corner, we have a spine candle, and then that was from Wizarding Trunk, and then behind that, we have some Skelligro, and that one was from Wow Stuff, and I think you could have got them from Amazon. I'm not sure where you can find them now. And then right here, we have a Charmed Aroma candle of a cauldron. I like that the inside is green, but it is a candle. On the other side, it says Harry Potter, but I didn't love the logo sticking out. I thought this looked more authentic. <laughs> And then some potions. So here we've got some Truth Serum. We've got some Wit Strengthening Potion. So for you Ravenclaws. And if you shake it up, you can see the swirls. You can see that. <laughs> we've got some tea actually. So this is Granger's Bookshelf Cuppa. And this is from an Etsy shop. So cute. We've got this small little replica of Liquid Luck. And this is from Geek Gear, and it just has glitter inside, but I love the shape of this bottle. This one's another one of my favorites. It's from the Wizarding Trunk. It's the Elixir of Life, but the label is so gorgeous, and I love that it has kind of like a sorcerer's stone on top. It's got a stone inside. It's all red. Very well done. Love this potion. This is something that's not a potion, but it's so gorgeous. I'm probably going to regret grabbing it. <laughs> 
and it's supposed to be like a perfume bottle and this is from Lit Joy Crate but it's so pretty and then over here we've got another array of a bunch of different potions a lot of them are from small shops some of them I made myself like this one I did make myself as a DIY and this one as well so pretty <laughs> and then there's just a bunch of different other potions in here and then it's around a bunch of greenery and some lights and the greenery is from Target so that's the potion shelf all right now we're on the fourth level of the shelves and we've got year three prisoner of Azkaban we'll start off in this corner so on the back wall here, we have the night bus ticket, and that is from Lit Joy Crate. Then down here, we have the shrunken head replica that is from Universal Studios Orlando, and you can press it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, three and a half, two, one and three quarters, yes! And normally I would hang this up, but it did not want to stick with a command strip. To the top so i'll have to figure that out later so right now he's kind of chilling in the corner <laughs> then just behind that we do have the lego version of the night bus and then in front of it we have the prophecy that says neither can live while the other survives you can read it like that maybe and that's from lip joy crate and it has this little stand and then we have another one of the hallmark ornaments but this one is of the three broomsticks and this one came out last year and then they're all sitting on top of the illustration version of Prisoner of Azkaban. Here in the middle, we have the Time Turner from Noble Collection. I love the display case it comes with. So gorgeous. Then we have some divination cups that have the Grim. <laughs> so this one is from the Wizarding Trunk. And I really love how the inside of this one looks. And then the other one I have is from Lit Joy Crate. It's just really small. It does say... My dear, you have the grim and <laughs> floral prints around it. But I like how I have a pink and a blue one and that this one came with a dish. And then just below the dish, I do have some little divination pieces. So here is a coin that you can flip for yes or no. I don't remember the names of these things. I do have a crystal as well, but I love displaying this on top of each other like so, so you can see the grim. Then in this corner, I have another prophecy ball, and it does have the grim inside it. I don't know if you can make out what it looks like, but it looks like a dog, and it's from the Wizarding Trunk. And then I just got this glass dome lid from Michael's, my local craft store. And then underneath everything, we have the replica from Noble Collection of the Marauder's Map, and it does open up pretty large, so I love having this in my collection. And then I also have a sticker of the Azkaban Prison number. I don't know if this is Sirius's, probably could be Bellatrix the Strange, it could be random, but it was from the Accio box. And that's everything currently on my year three shelf. So next to that one is a shelf that's basically empty. I just kind of have this filler in here right now, but, but this one will definitely change pretty soon as soon as I have some more collectibles. But I do have the Ravenclaw Diadem Mirror, and this is from Lit Joy Crate. It's so pretty. I have the wooden box that I got from Michaels that I will be doing something with shortly. And then I have another Hallmark ornament and this one is of the sorting hat. So nicely done. And then I also have from Pottery Barn Teen is this Hedwig golden pencil cup. And I have some pens, wand pens in here. And then I also have the Gryffindor sword pen in here. This will probably go on my desk soon. So that's just that shelf and then next to that so on my smaller shelf narrow shelf we do have a DIY that I did for a Hogwarts trunk so this trunk I got from eBay and then I put my own decal on here that I found on Etsy and then below that I have a noble collection Gryffindor journal and then below that this is the broom books I don't want to move everything <laughs> but it's a book about brooms <laughs> and then next to that another book set and this also has some green gut stuff as well around it so let me give you some close-ups so over in this corner we do have the green guts piggy bank you can find this one on amazon but next to that is something i have newer in the collection and this is from universal and it's a gold bar i love this so cool i want to get three of them 
stack them all on top of each other. But right now I'm just playing it like this. And then these are the American version. They're hardback books. And then next to those is another piggy bank. <laughs> and this one is of a Green Gringot Volt. And then we have a Volt Key from Geek Gear. And then I also have a Galleon as well. So that is my small Green Gots collection. All right, now we're on the very bottom of the shelves. So I've got a small Butterbeer collection over here in this corner. And it has a bunch of my reusable cups that I've gotten from the New York store. So that's this one. Really love the shape. I've got a couple from Universal. So here's one from Universal. And then these two are also from Universal. But they have got a cool shape to them as well. They're matching. I just keep them down here and always forget to bring them with me when I go to Universal. But you can save money if you bring them back. And then I have the bottle. And this is the New York exclusive one of Butterbeer. Love these. In the middle here is just a basket of a bunch of stuff. So I've got some wands that are not licensed. I've got the Luna Lovegood lion headdress hat <laughs> and then some more miscellaneous things in there so that's just that basket and then next to that we have one more butterbeer this is just the regular butterbeer label they're both empty but i loved keeping them to display them and then i've got a divination like puzzle ball it was on clearance at barnes and noble so i bought it it was eight bucks <laughs> So this bottom shelf has a bunch of Harry Potter books on it. So here is a collection, they're paperback, and they're like the black and white ones. So here's one of them for Chamber of Secrets. And this one, if you lay them all out, will make a giant picture, and it's pretty cool. So I do have these, I've never read them, I just have them here displayed. Then this book set is another American edition hardback, but they have the covers from the Accio box but I only have one through six. I am missing the seventh one. That's a shame because <laughs> I didn't subscribe to the box. I would just buy each one as they came out, but they're so pretty. Here, I'll show you the first one. So it says book of spells and all that gold foiling. They're just so pretty. I love these. Then the books in the middle here, we've got some fantastic beast ones. So this one I got on clearance. I can't get it out. <laughs> um, just know that I got that one on clearance. I'll get this one out. So this is the official faking book I will use one day <laughs> and I got this at Barnes and Noble. I have this that I can't get out. Okay, here we go. This I got on opening day at the New York store. It has a Mina Lima little gallery guide book. I don't know if they still give these out or just on the opening day, but it has a, just a bunch. Oops, things are flying. It just has a bunch of Mina Lima art prints and things about the shop inside here. So I do have that. And then this is my really worn little explore the store pamphlet. And inside gave you a map of the store and things to look for. So that's cool. So I kept that. And then I just have some paperback version of the book. So these are ones I got for like a dollar at thrift stores that I'll use the pages to DIY with whenever I need to. I even have a word search book that I got from Five Below. If I'm ever gonna go on a trip and I wanna keep busy on like a flight or something. So that's just a few of the books that I have on this shelf. Next to this one is my narrow bookshelf and here are, I think my last dust jackets of the American edition books, but here's a different version. And here is Prisoner of Azkaban. They're very cute and colorful. So I had to get these <laughs> and I just keep them on this shelf. This one doesn't have a book in it. Can you tell? <laughs> That's the only book I'm missing. So I just try to find them for a pretty cheap second hand and I haven't found that one just yet. So that's empty. Then the last one is going to have just three things on here and they're all lounge fly. So I've got two mini backpacks and then I've got a crossbody. So this mini is of the Hogwarts grounds. I have not used this before. Tags and everything are still on here. Maybe one day I'll use it, but until then I'll keep everything together. But I think the design is so gorgeous. I got this from Hot Topic 
I used the hot cash and everything, so I got it discounted as well. Here is my Quibbler crossbody. Oop, there goes the chain. You open it up, you've got the Spectra Specs. And this one was from fun.com. And then last but certainly not least, we've got my Weasley's Wizard Wheezes one. And I love this one. It's like light purple. It's got a bunch of cute little icons on it. And this one was also from Hot Topic. All right, now that we have finished with the main bookshelf, so it's over there in this side of the room, we are moved over here. And this is just my two shelf bookshelf that has a few little pieces on here that I want to show you. And then I'll show you the floating shelves after. So let's get closer up into this shelf. All right, I'll start off with this platform nine and three quarter bookends from Inesco. So we've got Harry running through the platform and you can see a bit of his trolley sticking out the other side. So it's so cute. And then I just have two books in here. So this one's actually a notebook of the Lives and Lies of Alice Dumbledore by Rita Skeeter. And then we also have the Tales of Beetle and Bard. So I just have those two little ones there. And then next to the bookends, we have Quidditch frame that's from fun.com so I don't put a print in there yet then in this corner we have a charmed aroma candle of the Hogwarts Express I love this one so pretty and then I also have another it's like baby Hogwarts Express next to it it's a Christmas ornament from Pottery Barn Teen and then behind that we've got the Tale of the Three Brothers paper cutout light box I think it's called I'm not sure I might be making that up but it does light up, I just don't have it plugged in, and I do love that. Then just below, we do have another one of those light boxes, but this one is of the Mirror of Erised with Hogwarts inside it, and then there's a little Harry sitting in front of that as well. Love that one. I've got another snow globe. It's so pretty, this one's of Hogwarts, and I got this one from Pottery Barn Kids. The base itself is so pretty, and this one does have music as well. And then here we have my OG books. So this is the book set that I fell in love with this series. I read them back in 2011 and I've read them a few times now and I just love them. So this is, if I'm ever gonna read them, I usually gravitate towards these, but a lot of times I'm reading them by the audiobooks. And then I have another Charmed Aroma candle and this is the Time Turner one. So pretty, it smells amazing. And next to the books, We've got some smaller books. So this is the Quidditch Through the Ages. And then we've got Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. These are older. I've had them for a really long time. So this is what these two look like. They've redone these since. I don't think they sell these ones anymore, but they're not too hard to find if you're looking for them secondhand. But I do love all the like handwritten notes inside these. I think they're kind of funny. And then here's the Quidditch of the Ages one. You can see who checked it out last. Love it. And that's everything on these two shelves, but I'm gonna show you what's on top of it as well. All right, on top of the shelves, we have another term to Roma candle. This is the Harry Potter glasses one. Super cute and gold, so I have it right on top. I've got a golden snitch clock, and this is from Pottery Barn Teen. It does open up. Here's the clock inside. Then in the middle here, I have another Pottery Barn Teen. This one is Hogwarts Express, and this one's also a clock, like that. But I just think it looks pretty. Then in this corner, we have another Pottery Barn Teen item, and this is the Time Turner clock. These are all clocks. Got a theme here going on. <laughs> and this one spins and everything. So cool, I love this one. This one's probably my favorite of the three. Really recommend getting this one. It's so cute. And the sand inside it does run as well, but it's not a full hour. It goes super quick. And it's almost done. There it is. That was like a couple seconds. <laughs> and then we have another one of the burrow prints. So I got two of them. So this one's framed and sits over here. And then I have some roses that are made from the Harry Potter book pages that my husband gifted to me for either my birthday or anniversary. I don't really remember. <laughs> I probably should, but they're so pretty. And then I've got some like fake eucalyptus behind it in this clear glass. I love it. And then this is all in front of my mirror of Arisen and there's my lights <laughs> helping me out today. And now last but certainly not least, we have my floating shelves. So on the bottom one here, we have this 
Noble Collection replica of the Firebolt, and it's so cool. I love this one. So I got this at my recent trip to Universal, and since he uses this Firebolt to get the golden egg, I thought it went perfect with my Goblet of Fire theme. We have the Whomping Willow Mina Lima card. That will get changed out for something that's more Goblet of Fire themed, but it will stay here for now. Next, we've got our Golden Egg replica from Noble Collection. It is so gorgeous. I love it. Only wish it would open up, but it doesn't. <laughs> it just looks pretty. Next to the egg, we have two of the books. These are the Slovak 20th Anniversary Edition, but I just love the illustration, so I had to get these. And I just have the two of them here. It helps balance out the shelf. And then above that, we have more of the books. So we have the Goblet of Fire facing out, since that is the theme of this shelf. And then I just have some more surrounding it. And then I also have this reed diffuser. It's just here to look pretty. <laughs> and then I have this like waterfall plant that also just looks pretty. It's from Ikea. And then inside the plant, hidden in there, is a grindelow. So let me show you that closer up. All right, do you spot the grindelow? <laughs> and that is from the wizarding trunk. And that's everything on my floating shelves for Goblet of Fire. All right, that is going to wrap up today's bookshelf tour. Definitely let me know in the comments below what your favorite themed shelf was. I know this collection will always be ever changing. I'll add things to it, I'll move things around, I'll change the themes up. But for right now, this is how everything looks and I am very happy with the collection as it stands. So as always, if you liked today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!